Today is collaboration day, challenge day. And today we were tasked to create a little vignette for Independence Day. And I have a couple of them I'm gonna show you. So come along as I reveal them to you. Now the challenge was to do a tiered tray and I didn't have one that was small enough so I'm just going to show you my little um, niche that I decorate. I also wanted to mention that I have a quick DIY at the end of this video so when you're done watching stay at to the end so you can see how you can create a simple cute little item for your 4th of July table. So we'll start with this America sign. I know you guys have seen it in other posts, but I just added some of the, um, I cut up a piece of that necklace that I got at the 99 cent store and I hung it from there just to give it a little different look. And then I'll come in a little closer and I put a little flag on just on the bottom row of these. Some of them are half twisted and turned. <laughs> and then coming down here in the middle is the Mackenzie Child's teapot. And the blue and white is perfect for Independence Day. And I've got my little um, firework pom poms in the back exploding with excitement over this Mackenzie Child's teapot. It is so adorable. I just love this. And look at the finial on top. Isn't that gorgeous? And the colors inside the painting. We've got some light blues, some yellows, um, some green. So pretty. And then, and it's sitting on top of a riser. And I've got this little firework going on right here in the front. And then flanked by two little birdies. Aren't these super cute? I got these at Hobby Lobby. And then in the Today's collaboration is hosted by Penny at Penny's Place. And her co-hostess is Anna from the Grace Life DIY. Both of these ladies have wonderful channels. They do a lot of home decor, DIY, makeovers. So you need to go over and check out their channel. I have included their link in the description box for your convenience. Just click on that and go on over to their page to see what kind of Independence Day they put together. And if you're not already following them, I suggest you do it. They have great content and they post every week, multiple times a week. <laughs> All right, so let's continue on with our video. I have my little tall top hats with the little birds on them. I have one on each side. One looks like it's ready to fall over. <laughs> and then I have my stars and stripes plates. And I have one on each side. And each one of them has a different um, beaded garland. This one has just the heart um, with the stars and stripes. And then the one on this side has the USA with some stars. And then since I'm over here, I have this little patriotic guy. This is a little goodie bag and I got him stuffed with some goodies. And then I have my red um, candle from um, Bath and Body. And here is a mercury glass candle holder, and I'm using it as a riser today. And then this is just one of those little twirly things I took off of a straw that it came on, just to bring some more patriotic look here. And I have another firework, and this side is exactly the same. So. There you go, that is a display. And I'm gonna have to back up, so I'm gonna stop. All right, so I was able to back up a little bit more so you can see 
and then I do have my wreath hanging on the opposite wall. So this corner looks super cute and we're all ready for 4th of July. And then I just have a couple of items on the bottom. And I have this little shelf. And I have some flowers and that cute little tin. Um, I got that. Oh, I think I got that from Anna Lee. Let me get a close look. It's so cute. I really like it. And then here's the Uncle Sam, of course. And another one of those America signs in the back. And here's my DIY that I did, the American flag. I think it turned out pretty cute. And then going down, just have that little spool. And I have my fireworks there. So I hope you guys like what I put together today. And I really appreciate you taking the time to come and visit. And if you are a returning subscriber, I want to thank you so much for um, taking your valuable time to come and visit me today. And if you are not subscribing, please consider. I'd love to have you part of my YouTube family and um, watch my journey as I grow and blossom my creativity. So again, thank you guys for coming by. Oh, and I just want to remind you that if you like the content, please give me a thumbs up because when you hit that thumbs up button, you're telling YouTube that you like my content, you like what I do, and you want to see more. And this helps the channel grow. Right now I'm at 330 something subscribers and I am, I have this goal to get to 1000 subscribers by the end of the year. Now that's a pretty hefty goal since I only have gotten 300 in six months. Um, so help me to get that thousand dollar, thousand dollar, that thousand subscriber goal by the end of the year. I'd really appreciate it if you want to share my videos with some of your followers or people you know, um, that would be greatly appreciated as well. So with that being said, I want to thank you again for stopping by. I hope you have a safe and happy 4th of July celebration with your family and friends and stay safe and God bless you. Oh, I forgot to mention, I have a cute, uh, easy DIY, so stay tuned and watch it so that you can create this easy DIY for your 4th of July table. Bye-bye. A quick and easy way to make a cute 4th of July candle holder, I guess you want to say. You got a bag of rice, you got your little holder that you're going to use, you got your little baggie, you got your collar, and you got your little light. So I've already measured that one cup or half a cup will go into my little baggie. I simply just put it in here to make sure. And let's get the other bag filled up. So I'm just going to simply add a couple of drops in there in each bag. I did a little bit more in the red. And now we're going to mix it up. Okay, so here is what you end up with. I've got a blue and a red, and of course the rice is, up, the rice is already white. Um, so now I'm gonna take this outside and I'm gonna let it dry completely before I start um, to build my little candle holder, or my candle.
candle filler, I should say. Okay, it looks very dry. It actually wasn't too wet when I brought it outside, but I just wanted to make sure. And then here's my blue, I've already put it in my bag. So um, once I get it, get everything um, put in the bag, then I'll be able to fill up my little candle holders. And if you could see, there's like variations of colors. So it's not all red, there's a little bit of white in there. But that's okay because it gives it, you know, good definition. And I kind of like that. So let's um, move to the next step. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and build our yeah, view better. So here's my little cup. And so we are going to build the colors from the bottom up. So our colors are red, white, and blue. So we need to start with the color blue. It's simple, very simple. Just put some blue in here. So as you can see, I have some blue in my dish. Now, once you start putting the colors in, you don't want to be twisting your cup because you don't want it to mix. So then I'm going to have my white. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my candle in here so I can see because um, I don't want to twist it. So. I know that I just need a little bit of red. And I'm gonna try to push this to the side as much as possible. And then I'm gonna stick my candle in here gently. And I'm gonna try to put a little bit more red around the edges. Okay, so I have my candle on now. Let's see, it's, it's kind of hard to see. But anyways, I have my candle on, and I got my colors are still there. And um, what I did was I used a spoon, so I could um, just spoon it in around there. And to prevent it from going down inside, I just simply put a piece of wax paper in front, so that. Um, the rice couldn't fall inside the, the light. So that's a little tip for you. Probably could have used a little bit more blue on the bottom, but it's pretty cute, I like it. So the next couple I do, I will put more blue. 